the rising apathy in our workforce. This shows up with a lot of people talking about engagement measures and about how to really get people to want to do the work. Now, I don't want to go too far into this, but I was looking at the Gallup poll, and it's 3% increase in the last few years, and we're spending millions and millions on how to get people more engaged, and it's just not working. So you may think the enemy to growth is engagement, but I want you to think about that. Our leaders are the ones that invest in the programs, that invest in the people. Our leaders are the ones that are casting vision, that, that engage those people. Our leaders are the ones that are really the ones responsible. The real villain is leadership, ineffective leadership. So when I started looking at growth, I started looking at some of the things that the corporations were doing. And, I, and it's really important to, to look at what big corporations are doing to grow. But I was looking for the, the really high-flying companies. So I went to the 8 5,000. These are the fastest growing private companies in America. Are you guys familiar with the 8 5,000? Well, I went to uh, the top tier of those companies. I talked to 51 CEOs in the last quarter. And those CEOs uncovered what growth is to them. Those key characteristics that I'm going to share with you about how to grow were uncovered in those conversations. I was talking to them about sales, marketing, leadership, culture, all of those things. I just, I really had, had a chance to uncover what was really going on inside these companies that were growing on average 2,700% in the last three years. Now, you might be thinking, what do they do to do this? And the real key here is ownership. 